be on face with tech, so I should be able to get focus. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> You can just scoot over. <laughs> I ain't gonna kiss you on camera. <laughs> <coughs> well, it's your show. You want to start? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is just gonna be a real quick uh, extra freedom episode because <laughs> it's the Fourth of July or whatever. And yeah, I already put one out for the Fourth, but my brother came over and brought some more bravado. Spice Company goodness. We kind of already started on that one. These are the hotter ones. We've got the Black Garlic Carolina Reaper and the Crimson Special Reserve. These are both five peppers, so they should be hot. So probably not going to be a full shot because we already took shots of the Pineapple Habanero. And I don't want to die today. <laughs> <laughs> should we talk about this one first? Sure. So this one was really good. It's really good. Really, really good. As long as you like pineapple. A lot of pineapple flavor in that one. My only complaint, it's not a whole lot of habanero taste to it. Not a whole lot of habanero flavor. Um, the heat behaves like habanero, but it didn't feel like habanero. It wasn't quite as hot as I'm used to habanero being. But it's only rated as a medium sauce, so it shouldn't be too terrible. It and probably go really good on pork or shrimp. I was thinking tuna. If you get a nice, a nice tuna steak, or even, I think, a tuna sushi, you'd be like a little nigiri. Yeah. That would be. And that was full when we started this. We both had a, a healthy shot each of that one. Well, which one should we start with? I think we should start with the lighter one first. <coughs> the, uh, the scorpion should probably go first. All right, so we'll be starting with the Crimson Special Reserve. The bravado that I did a week ago, or Tuesday, or whenever that was, was also listed as Crimson, but it was not the Special Reserve. And it was just hollow bay, <coughs> jalapeno and audible. This one is scorpion peppers, again with audible, garlic, sea salt, white vinegar. Or no, white wine vinegar. And if you don't know, scorpion peppers are uh, one of the hotter <coughs> peppers. So you have the habanero. Um, it goes up from there to the bujolokia and naga jolokia. Just the jolokias in general. Then it goes, I think, to Trinidad scorpion, which is what this is. And then slightly hotter than that well actually quite a bit hotter than that one is the reaper the carolina reaper we're going to save that yeah. not right now that is an interesting smell it's like uh i don't know but that smells like something i've had before it smells a lot like the other one <clears throat> just the regular crimson but supposedly it's going to be a little hotter so the shots, depending on how brave we feel, might be a little smaller than what you've seen in some of my previous episodes. And I've never had anything with Scorpion or Carolina Reaper before. Like I mentioned, I think, in the first episode, um, <clears throat> my focus is more on the flavor of a hot sauce. I'm not trying to burn myself a new butthole. I just, I want good sauce. I'm going to shake that a little. Oh, no, that looks good and separate. Might have been a bad idea. You can, you can put some into mine or put some back in there. That's gonna be quite a bit for this. Yeah, well, too late. Cheers. Well, the, uh, the spice is definitely at the front of that one. <clears throat> yeah, it is spicier than the others. Full disclaimer. <clears throat> I'm not as good at eating hot food as <laughs> he is. So you're likely to see me sweat a little more. Maybe even cry. <clears throat> the translation is he's smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. It's definitely, it's definitely hotter. And I can feel the sweat. Yep. And <coughs> it's a little bit more vinegary, I think. But it also has more of a, almost like a, what are those called? You get them in the pick, pickle section of the store, with the pickles and olives. But they're the little tiny capers. 
has a little bit of a caper flavor and smell. And we already had our 4th of July barbecue, <clears throat> so we're not trying this with any food because we've already had steak and burgers and brats and half a bottle of this stuff. That one... <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> beautiful thing about hot food is the endorphin rush you get from it. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of that right now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Yeah, it's definitely got a kick. It's not it's not as spicy as I was expecting though. To me, this is probably pretty close to like the the Kupilik from El Yucateco. I feel like it's worse than Kupilik. Really? I think Kupilik <clears throat> Maybe it's just because that one is thicker or something like that. I don't know. It could be. It's definitely a lot hotter than this one. Yeah. This is not I felt like this one was really mild, and we didn't do a, a demonstration of it, but there's not really much heat to that. This is... This has some heat. We could use that as, way a, up there. as a chaser. To we, cool yeah, we could, <laughs> <laughs> we could probably do that. <clears throat> well, that one really... It, it I don't know you. about you, but it's got me. Um, I think right off the bat, that would go well on a burger or a steak. Yeah. It'd really go well with beef. <clears throat> it actually almost tastes like um, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, which I typically don't care for. However, <clears throat> up in Salt Lake City, there's a there's a restaurant I've haven't had you try it yet. It's called uh, Pick and a Jelly Jar. <laughs> Pick and a Jelly Jar. It's okay. <clears throat> it's a real thing. <clears throat> kind of a hipster restaurant, but they do uh, chicken and waffles there. The nice piece of uh, fried chicken breast on a waffle with a couple strips of bacon and an egg, uh, maple syrup, and then um, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. That tastes a lot like Frank's Red Hot, Red Hot Sauce, which, I, like I said, I don't really care for, but I think on chicken and waffles, that might work. Or just with breakfasty food in general, that'd be a winner. Interesting side point, I've never had Frank's Red Hot Sauce. What? I have it in the cupboard. It's it's in line to be reviewed. I've never actually had it. <clears throat> like I said, I don't really care for it in general. But in that particular application, it goes really well. And this one they, they is like a much, much stronger, <clears throat> <laughs> more punchy in the tongue kind of a... They describe it as a fiery, garlicky blend of scorpion and herbal chilies. This is... The ultra hot sauce you've been waiting for. Go big or go home. There's definitely a bit of garlic in there too. Yeah. That's which I kind of like. Well, I always like garlic. That, that's, that's, a, that's a stupid observation. Idiots. Yeah. Idiots don't like garlic. Yeah. I was doing a recipe the other day. <clears throat> I can't remember what it was, but I said add two cloves of garlic <laughs> per bite. <laughs> I put two heads. <laughs> that's, that's how two probably, bulbs of garlic. That's how it's meant to be used. It was almost enough. <coughs> wow, that was a. Uh, it's it's done now. It's yeah, it's all gone for me. But my lips are still a bit. So I've got a tingle, a bit lively. But that's a. That's a nice sauce. Yeah. I, I generally don't care. I've only had I've only dealt with scorpions one other time. I bought some and made my own salsa with it, and it was too hot. I couldn't do it. But uh, that's not bad. I probably wouldn't recommend. How how do I how do I describe this without sounding too terrible? <clears throat> I wouldn't give this to my grandma. <laughs> My Utah born and bred grandma, this would probably put her in the grave. If you think <clears throat> jalapenos are hot, don't touch it. I wouldn't even bother. It would uh, be too hot for you. I wouldn't bother even looking at it. Because <laughs> that. You might, that's far and above. You might that die. Level. If you like habaneros, though, and you can actually handle the heat of an habanero, then. Ah, you'll be fine. You'll be, you'll be alright. Yeah. That's good. Let's do another shot. <laughs> Or do you want to move on? Yeah. So let's, let's hit that next one. <coughs> I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure now. Now I'm scared. Because <laughs> that one, 
It's got the five chilies. This has five fires. Five flaming, <laughs> yeah. And I've heard, <clears throat> I've read enough about the Reaper that this is a... Be a it's, an, it's an interesting list of ingredients, though. So you've got vinegar, red serrano, of course, Carolina Reaper, roasted garlic, maple syrup. So maybe, hey, Canadians, this was made just for you, even though it's from Texas. <laughs> black garlic, black black pepper, and sea salt. I've got to at least smell it. Yep. Oh, I didn't shake it. you got to shake it. Give it a shake. Shake it, shake it. I think I mentioned that in the episode that I did on <clears throat> Bravado's regular crimson. It specifically <coughs> calls out on the bottle, real food separates. Shake it up. Which I definitely want to find that hilarious. <laughs> Does it smell like death? It smells like Smaug's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, it's not that bad. <clears throat> you can tell it's hot. That one, <clears throat> I don't really have a good description for it. It smells like, like almost more earthy, like it's... Well, it's got black pepper and maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like Canada and Mexico had a baby. <laughs> You ready? No. <laughs> we'll see what happens anyway. Do you want to clean these glasses or just let this cauterize them? And... I guess if we want to get a good judgment of the, the yeah. flavors, I'm going to probably have to use different. I feel like I'm going to need some ice cream after this. We have some in the freezer. Which, interesting. <clears throat> I think this one would be really good on ice cream. Specifically vanilla, just because of the fruitiness of it. Well, do you want to pour yours first, or you want me to go first? Huh, I'll pour. Okay. Make sure it's not too crazy. But, uh, definitely want to actually have enough to taste it. Yeah. How's that? I think even if you just put a dab, you'd... you have nothing to prove here. No. <clears throat> However, if you'll recall the uh, shot glass... Well, I don't know if it was my idea, but I was the one that was telling you. Do, it do, was, do a full shot. <laughs> do it right. Oops. That's too much. You're going to maybe have too many endorphins going through me. I'm not scared. I feel like I need to put a little more. Man. Now, like, it smells like Kalamata olives. That's what it is, not capers. Very olivey taste to, or smell to it. Which is odd because it doesn't have any olives. I didn't realize until you pointed that out. That's... So maybe that means it'll be good on Italian food? Might be a nice little addition to a bruschetta. Ooh. Mix it in your tapenade. There we go. <clears throat> So again, this one has vinegar, red serranos. So it's not just... Not just reapers. Not just reapers. Red serranos, Carolina reaper, roasted garlic, <clears throat> maple syrup, black garlic, black pepper, sea salt. Serranos I really don't like. I don't care for it. The problem with the serrano... What's the problem with the serrano? They're only hot. There's no flavor. It's they just, don't it's taste... just hot. They don't taste any better than jalapeno. But they're like a thousand times hotter. <laughs> it's just not worth it. Yeah, very olivey type of a smell to them. Ready? Let's do it. Salo down the hatch. Hmm. Whoa. 
That is not at all what I expected. I'm not getting any heat. I get a lot of sweetness, almost like an habanero type taste. There it comes. But really sweet. But garlicky at the same time. I kind of like your chicken and waffles idea now. <clears throat> you need to come up. We'll take our own personal <laughs> sauce oh, yeah. and have it there. But oh man, they do a great job. So yeah, it's a long stretch of just a lot of sweetness for me, a little bit of garlickiness, and it tastes like habanero, which, which makes sense because the Reaper is just like a, it's a crossbreed of yeah, or not a crossbreed. It's it's a, a hybrid. It's still a capsicum chinense, which is what an habanero is. But the heat is finally starting. Like it's a slow build, though. yeah, because this one just punches this you in the much, face. This was much faster. This one is acting like an habanero because I feel like with capsicum annuum, which is uh, jalapenos and stuff, it's like straight up, just yeah. goes straight to hot, and then it slowly tapers off. <coughs> with most chinance peppers, though, it seems like they just kind of nice and slow, take the slow ride up, and then once they're done, they're just done. They're it's like a it's like backwards. Yeah. <clears throat> but it is starting up, and it's starting to sweat again. Yeah. Very, very slow build, though. I like the flavor. <laughs> I was actually surprised that I like the flavor, just because some of the other sauces that I've had, that their focus is being hot. They're just not good. But that's not bad. See, and that's a problem I have with a lot of, <clears throat> um, a lot of the hot sauces that are out there. Um, I was telling you about that store up in Salt Lake where they have a whole bunch of uh, hot sauce. And most of them just don't look attractive because they're... It's all about the heat. It's all about the heat. And it's just this kind of pepper, and it's this much hotter, and we put pepper extracts or whatever to make yeah. it hotter. <clears throat> and I don't really care how hot something is. I will eat something that's incredibly hot. As long as it's good. If the flavor justifies it. Yeah. But if it's just hot to be hot... Now, I think on this one, both of these, the flavor justifies it. Oh, and it's not like a <clears throat> an insanity level of heat. No, it's not stupid. I've had habanero salsas that I've made at home that are hotter than both of these. I, I have had some that were too hot. Yeah. I think we've, we've all had that. Yeah. But that is, this is a rare case where it's using, especially... A lot of the hot sauces that I've seen that they use reapers or scorpions, they just try to be hot for <clears throat> being hot's sake, and that doesn't appeal to me. No. Yeah. Um, that's one reason I think I've always been hesitant to try some of the hot sauces that have this stuff, these types of peppers, because it, it seems like you're just going to get a lot of heat and not any flavor. It's like on that Hot Ones show where they have the... <laughs> Hot sauces with the chicken wings. The one that's always like second or third from the hottest, the something 357. <coughs> I don't remember Where what they've got a bullet hanging. Yeah. Or like everybody that tries it on there, they all say that it doesn't taste good. It's only hot. And that the ones that are even hotter actually taste better. To me, that's a prime example of a hot sauce that's just not worth my time. No. No, I can't remember what that stuff is called. Mad Dog. Mad Dog 357. Yeah. <clears throat> no thanks. And I think it was because it's like 357,000 Scoville units or something. No, like that was it. Who cares? If it doesn't taste good, who cares? Yeah. But that's not bad. It's still, in terms of pure flavor, this to me beats all of these. And this is a lot closer to, <clears throat> I could, well, I still wouldn't give this one to my grandma either, but. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of, other, it's, it's. It's not general audience, but it's closer. These other two are not general audience at all. <clears throat> For these two, you need to be comfortable, very comfortable with a lot of habanero yeah. to be able to, to deal with these ones. But they taste good. What uh, What do you think this would go well on? Cause we, like I was talking about chicken and waffles for that one. I almost I'm, think like any southern food, that would probably be a good idea. This one, and this is going to sound stupid, but that one's making me think of 
chili cheese fries. I, can, I, can see I don't know. I think that's good. <clears throat> or maybe, uh, what is the hole on these? You could fit a Slim Jim in there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe make a Slim Jim actually taste good. I don't know about that. <laughs> Palatable. <laughs> yeah. There is still a bit of a vinegar taste in there. A little bit. I think it would definitely go well on scrambled eggs. Oh, yeah. Especially scrambled eggs with bacon. Bacon. Applewood bacon. Or maple bacon. Maple bacon. Or... Because it's got maple in it. Yeah. Points to you, Canada. <laughs> that would be good. I think it would. And then... This will probably sound stupid. <laughs> I'm also thinking Spanakopita. Because it's got that kind of creamy... Mm -hmm. With the spinach, I could see it. Uh, also, along the Greek theme, I think uh, lamb would go really good. I don't, I know lamb's not like a super popular meat, but I happen to love it, and I think this would, I think it could work. Nice on lamb. And I almost want to, I almost want to try it with red grapes. The. Uh, Tomates. Ooh. Mit, mix that in with some tzatziki and then... That... <laughs> we, might, we might be onto something there. Mm, that sounds really good. I'm going to have to go visit that Greek place. That I can't remember the name of, but that's really good. It doesn't matter. If you're not in Utah, you're not going to be able to go there anyway. doesn't so matter. doesn't matter. I, honestly, though, it almost seems like it'd be a good all-purpose hot sauce. Like, if you really want to just have something that has plenty of kick to it, and it's going to taste still good. still good taste. You could put this on just about it. I wouldn't put it with probably fish. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe lobster. Lobster might work. Yeah. Crab and lobster. That's about all I do. Okay. To me, this one actually felt spicier. Oh, yeah. A lot. Well, yeah. Which is interesting, because this uses the hottest yeah. pepper available, but it's probably just a matter of proportion, like how much is in there. I think, is it sugar that kind of alleviates? I think it does help to balance it a little. Um, the heat? I think so. I don't have any science to back that up. We need Alden Brown to figure that out. Well, I remember, <clears throat> speaking of hot ones, the host on there did a video <coughs> with uh, Vsauce. Okay. You know that one? And uh, I can't remember that dude's name. Vsauce. Right. He's just Vsauce to me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but he goes over the science of, you know, what capsaicin is, um, how you can cool it down. And it's, uh, a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's an oil. So if you use water to try and cool your mouth down, it just, it's not, it's, it's like not seeing an oil it. slick on water. They don't mix. So it's not going to break it down, so it's not going to help you at all. Milk, however, does, for whatever reason. I would definitely do it, but I don't, I can't remember if sugar, sugary stuff does it or not. It seems like it does, but I, that's purely anecdotal. I don't have any actual scientific proof to back that up. So for, for heat, I think both of these, I don't know, I think I'd call them a four out of five. They're, they're pretty close. This one says it's hotter to me, this one felt hotter. Um, I wouldn't call it a 5 out of 5 on heat, just because I've made hot sauce in my kitchen that was hotter than these. But it's probably as hot as I would normally go for regular consumption. Like, I could handle hotter, but I don't think... It'd have to be really good for me to want to go any hotter than these. Um, and that one on heat, I don't know, I'd say that's like a 1, maybe a 2. Yeah, it it's says... like the top of the video. It says medium, but it's it's very, it's very, very mild. And I would say, uh, like, I love how pineapple-y it is. I just wish there was a little more of oh, yeah, flavor yeah, to it. Yeah, I would agree. Fla uh, just, just straight flavor, though, I'd probably call that a four. Because I could, yeah. if that came in a gallon jar, I could drink that. Oh, especially whenever there's a wedding reception, there's this stuff, for any of our cousins, there's this stuff that my grandma makes out the of punch. the punch. 
if you took that mixed with this. Oh, that'd be good. That would be so good. <laughs> that'd be really it's good. It's some sort of a, I don't know how she makes it. It's like orange juice and pineapple juice. It's like orange juice, juice pineapple and juice, and seven Sprite, up or 7-Up or something, up or something and, and like an ice slush. Whatever it is, it's good. I think that would go, would go well right with it. that. And then flavor-wise, I think I think the Carolina Reaper one is a little bit better because it's it's a little more unique, probably because of the maple syrup. Um, I think I'd call it probably still a solid three flavor-wise. Um, and for me, the, the crimson one would be a little bit lower, so I guess I'd I know, call it a two and a half. And then I know two and a half doesn't sound good. You'll have to pardon the air conditioner. We're in Utah and it's the summer and my air conditioner is six feet away. So if you can hear that, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's hot outside. So two and a half on a scale of one to five, to me, doesn't mean it's a gross hot sauce. A one is going to be a gross hot sauce. And there is one that I know of that is two that I know of that will get a one that I haven't reviewed yet, but I, that I've actually tried. But this is good. I just think this one is a little bit better, and the pineapple is better still. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Um, <clears throat> about the same. I I really like the heat on this one. Um, that one had me reacting the most. It was, and it was very much just right up front, hit you in the face. Yeah. Which is what I remember from <clears throat> the last time I dealt with scorpions. When I made my own hot sauce with scorpions, it was like you get a millisecond of flavor and then it just burns. And that's, I mean, in certain applications, that's nice. This was probably my favorite, just because I feel like it's going to be the most versatile. The uh, yeah. the the black garlic Carolina Reaper. I feel like I could go on anything, and it would spice it up, and it would be it would be awesome, real real good. The pineapple oven habanero again, definitely great flavor, nice and fruity. I just wish that the habanero was more pronounced because um, to me, habaneros taste like a tropical fruit. Yeah. Um, and that's why I love about them. And that's why they pair so well with things like pineapple and mango and yeah. all their tropical fruits. is because they, they just do really well that way. So I would say if they can tweak their recipe a little bit, make it a little more habanero forward, um, or make like a, a, a special reserve of this one that is like a, a five fiery level, whatever the rating is here, that would... That would be awesome. And we'll, so the camera stopped recording for a second a few minutes ago. One thing that I think got missed that we also talked about, <coughs> this would probably go really well on scrambled eggs with bacon. It, I think that would be... If, like if, if we hadn't have already had a huge barbecue, I would go cook some <laughs> bacon and eggs to try that with. Just to be crazy, I would almost want to have it with pancakes. It's like, already got maple syrup like, in like, it. Like, take some butter... Soften the butter up, pour some of this into the butter, mix the butter up, put it back in the fridge, get, let it harden up again, and then put that, you know, as you take your slices of butter, put that on on your pancakes. That sounds I like think. something we need to try next time we're <laughs> camping. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. That would be awesome. But yeah, I like this company, this Bravado Spice Company. They do a good job. Um, their hot sauces are not hot just to be hot. They're hot and they taste good. They give you something for enduring the heat. So Texas, you should be proud of these guys. They should get tax breaks or something because <laughs> that's like one of the best things to ever come out of Texas. That stuff's awesome. So thanks for watching. Obviously this wasn't a regular episode, but we were having fun eating lunch and he brought these hot sauces down. So we figured why not? There's no rule that says you can't have two episodes in one day. He was a great American all year, so I brought him. <laughs> I brought. <laughs> I, I'm America Claus here, <laughs> and and uh, so yeah, these are his Fourth uh, of July stocking stuffers. There's got to be a better pantaloon stuffers. <laughs> something colonial. <laughs> got to make something. <laughs> oh, they're made out of America tears. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Probably not me though. <laughs> I won't be. <laughs> he'll, he'll be back another time. Someday. Someday. <laughs> Maybe when we're camping. Who knows?